Hello everyone, do I look rough or what? <laughs> Happy New Year's! I uh, had a great night, but I just figured I'd let you know if I'm looking a little puffy or a little... <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I have got a very anticipated collection to be testing with you guys. This is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus collection. So they've got a foundation, a powder, and then also a concealer. I ordered these online. They're still available online and everything, plus or minus some of the colors that may or may not be sold out. I'm not sure. I don't know why I pointed like these are the only two that have color options. So does the powder. But yeah, I've got all three of these to test out. I, 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 I hate doing videos like this where I'm testing multiple products. I just, there's way too many independent variables at work here, but I just know y'all want to see them all at once. So we can do this. I think we'll still be able to see how things do, plus or minus a couple of things, plus or minus my sanity. <sighs> I should have never taken all the science classes that I did. But, so, anyways, what I know in the basic form is that these are supposed to be products that prevent photo flashback. So, aside from that, I'm really not sure about the claims, but like I said, let's hop on over to Wet n Wild's website and then we can read for ourselves, see what they say. To start off here, we have got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. They have got 20 different shades ranging from porcelain over to mahogany, which you can never really tell compared to real life and online, but the mahogany doesn't look too terribly deep. So here you can see it looks like the majority of colors are going to be kind of in the media, lots of beiges, but then they do have quite fair colors. So the foundation is $5.99 and it just seems like this foundation really went under rigorous testing to see how this can work in flash type photography to keep you looking flawless and camera ready. It's got light adjusting complex in it to help prevent white cast in photos, tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. And this this was tested on top smartphone models. So this is like selfie basically foundation. So you've got clear blue sunlit sky, outdoors PM, indoors PM, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. And yeah, they just go into the science of the foundation, how they excluded the white particles in face makeup that caused the flashback. But just so you know, results may vary depending on individual users' selfie skills in a phone model or light condition. <laughs> oh my god. And then I mean just to take a look, I doubt the claims are really going to be any different, but here is the photo focused pressed powder. It is $4.99 and it comes in eight shades ranging from warm light on over to cocoa. So it says, you know, you can wear this powder alone on bare skin or over photo focus foundation for a flawless finish and reduce shine throughout the day and set the makeup with an unbelievably soft satin finish. And then the concealer is going going to set you back $3.99. They've only got six shades of the concealer. They've got anywhere from light ivory on over to dark cocoa, which again, does not look dark at all if you ask me. But the description, it's again gonna help you out under flash photography and whatnot. It's a creamy and luminous concealer giving high coverage on your skin. So yeah, I mean, I think that is about it for now. I am excited. My face is ready for some help. So I'm ready to put these on my face. Let's go ahead, let's sing the song together and then we can get on into doing that. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. Could you tell? I feel like even my singing is like slightly delayed. <laughs> I'm trying you guys. I'm trying. For the foundation, I think I got the right shade. I mean, we'll find out. I got number 361C, Shell Ivory. And for the concealer, I got number 840B, Light Ivory. And for the powder, that's a good question. There we go. I got number 821E, Warm Light. Of course, I've got to give you guys my typical spiel here. When I do test foundation slash face products, I do use a primer because I use a primer. That's just my way of eliminating as many independent variables as possible. This is just me giving the products a fighting chance and also keeping true at least a little bit to science. And also my face has been washed and moisturized prior to filming this video and also also I do wear my glasses in these videos so that the fellow glasses wearers of the world out there we can see how this foundation and whatnot wears underneath the nose pads and also where our glasses tend to touch our face throughout the day. So that aside, foundation time. Go ahead, shake it up. Oh is it a... no? <laughs> 
I feel like I'm breaking things. Okay, <laughs> it's a twist off, you guys. So this looked like it had, yes, a paddle. Ooh. Ooh. Smells straight up like acrylic paint. Nope, more so than that, smells straight up like wall paint. I mean, I guess it is what it is. So I guess I'm just gonna paddle this onto my face because, I don't know, that's what the universe is telling me I should do. Ooh. I mean, I don't know that this is that interesting, but it's like a curved paddle. On this half of my face, I'm going to be using a brush and we'll see how this ends up doing. Ooh, maybe that was a lot. I guess I'm using this for my forehead too. <laughs> you know, it's all a learning experience here on my channel. Yeah, that's a really strong smell. Like, I feel like we're about to go to town. We just moved into a new place. We're ready to paint the walls, make it ours. All right, I do not really care for the way that this looks with the brush, right? It's just kind of streaky and ugh. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge to blend this out. Yep. Sponge is the way to go, folks. I mean, it looks nice though. Once it is blended in, right? You know, half with, half without. It feels very lightweight. Can hardly tell that I even put anything on my face just now. Go ahead, put this on the rest of my face. That was probably way too much on my nose there, but let's see how this does with a sponge alone. And there you go with the sponge. Like I said already, I think the sponge is the way to go. I think it looks pretty dang good. I don't know why I decided to put this on my eyes today. I hate putting foundation on my eyes because it's just gonna get all crazy and gross looking. But oh well, what's done is done. Really don't feel like this needs building up or anything. Like that really did give good, good coverage on my skin. I suppose you probably wanna see this a little bit closer. I don't think it looks bad in my nose pores. I think it looks really lightweight. It feels really lightweight and yeah, I quite like it. It's still got a little bit of a tack to it, but let's go ahead and get out the concealer. Ooh, this is vegan. Yay, nice job, Wet n Wild. It's like it's just a normal go foot applicator, which is fine by me. Still smells like wall paint, but a less intense wall paint. Maybe this is more along the lines of acrylic paint smell. Let's see. It feels very thick, at least when I was dotting it on. Did that do anything? Yes, no, maybe so. Do you see how thick that is? Maybe it's just a lot thicker than what I'm used to, but like you can see it standing up there, you know? So I'm just gonna dot it on that blemish there. Maybe a little on that blemish there. I feel like it did a good job, you know, especially covering the redness on my nose and on that blemish. Still can't tell with my under eyes, but maybe that's just because my under eyes are like extra dehydrated today. <laughs> I think that blended in really well and everything, right? Looks good. So far it hasn't creased underneath my eyes and yeah, I'm kind of, Kinda of digging how this looks, you guys. Everything's got a pretty matte finish, but it doesn't look like flat, you know? So here is the powder. It feels like a powder. It doesn't feel like exceptionally silky or anything. I mean, it feels good. It doesn't feel really stiff. So for this test, I am going to be using the powder on half of my face, probably this half of my face, and then on the other side, I'm gonna be using my normal NARS Translucent Crystal Powder, just so that that way we can see if by the end of the day, things are wearing off, blah, blah, blah. Is it because the powder didn't work well? That's my mom, one second. <laughs> All right, so powder, 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 powder. I think that was a decent amount, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, 
right, so there's the powder on this half of the face. I don't know that it made a difference. Did it? It might have taken away a slight amount of sheen, but I don't think there was really much sheen to take away anyways. So I knocked all the powder out of the brush there. And now we will go on with the NARS. So yeah, I think the powders actually give a very similar finish where it kind of like blurs blurs things. Oh, what is that? I mean, the Wet n Wild obviously has a bit of a tint to it, but I think since it is like my skin color, it didn't make too big of a difference. So yeah, I mean, there it looks overall. Ooh, and from far away, it looks even better. That's kind of how most things work, isn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting on the rest of my makeup. It is really going to be very minimal today, but that is what it's gonna be. So I will be back in just a second to check in with you all here on YouTube land. So I will see you then. Ready? Ding! All right, so here we go. I think everything looks good. It got mom's approval too, so that's gotta count for something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Good old dry shampoo coming through. But yeah, I mean, that hardly creased underneath my eyes. I'm really, really impressed with that. You know, any dewiness you might be seeing is obviously, or not obviously, my highlighter, but I think everything looks really, really nice. Like I said earlier, it doesn't look like too matte to the point where it looks unnatural. It just looks nice and nice and natural. I really like it so far. Aside from the smell, but thankfully the smell has dissipated. So I already went ahead and did the flash photo test, which ding, I'll insert right here as always. Looks great. I mean, aside from my derp face, looks real good. I didn't see like any flashback at all. I didn't see any shininess or anything. It just looked really nice and flawless and good and I mean I liked it so I have high hopes so far. We'll see. My fingers are very crossed as are my toes but I'm not showing you those. We shall see how these end up working throughout the day. I'm about to go shopping with my mom. She needs to get a few things and then I think we're just doing our normal Monday night, right? Yeah. Yep, so it'll be a good day, not too much going on, but for me, that sounds just about perfect right now. As always, I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. We can see how this all does. And are you coming to say hi? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, I got your approval of the foundation so far? Yes, indeed, it looks nice. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> We're gonna get going. I've made my mom wait long enough. So yeah, I will be bringing you guys along with me as always. We will see how all of this does. I will do my check-ins every few-ish hours so that we can see how this is wearing throughout the day. It is currently 1.17 in the afternoon. I think that's about it. I will just see you all very soon whenever I do my first check-in. So I'll see you all then. Bye. <laughs>
night here. It is currently 2.22 in the morning. I think I really like this. I mean, far from perfect, and I, I will tell you about the things, but first let's take a look. Let's get you zoomed in here. So obviously, it wore off, you know, you can definitely see that it wore off around my nose and also on my chin there, so eh, there's that. But I mean, you can still see blush, highlight, and everything on both of my cheeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no to the powder. I do think that the foundation wore off more on the side that I used the Wet n Wild powder compared to the NARS powder, especially around my nose and on my chin like I was saying. It wore off on both sides, but it wore off more on the side with the Wet n Wild powder, so I'm gonna say pass on the powder. I also think I'm gonna say a pass on the concealer. I think it did okay, but I mean it obviously did wear off on the couple blemishes that I was trying to cover. I think underneath my eyes it ended up looking a little cakey and it did wear off and so I just kind of eh, on the concealer. But the thing that I'm happy with and the thing that I want to experiment with, play around with, see if it works any better, is the foundation. Like I was saying, it is not perfect and as you saw throughout the day with my check-ins, there were definitely some problems. It did a pretty decent job at controlling my oils throughout the day. Granted, it's not like hot and sweaty or anything outside, but I was out shopping with my mom, we went grocery shopping and all that, so I was like putting it to work a bit, you know, and the oils seemed to stay at bay and they didn't start to really come through until about 9 p.m. I think I checked in with you guys more around 10 p.m. Once the oils did come through, I thought they looked good, like I thought it mixed with the foundation and everything well, but but it did make it so that the foundation felt a bit heavy on my skin. Any of my oily skinned beauties out there would know. You know, the minute your oils start to come out, sometimes with some foundations, it makes your foundation feel really weighed down and heavy. Some foundations, it doesn't make a difference with the weight at all. Also, once the oils came through, it was slash is the type of foundation where when you touch your face, even the slightest, the foundation comes off with your oils. Now, granted, if you just use a blotting sheet, like you saw, it didn't come off on the blotting sheet at all. And once I did use the blotting sheet, I thought everything looked good, and even right now, like, everything still feels good and normal and all that. I just feel like even though the foundation faded, I feel like it faded gracefully, you know? Well, hello there, cat. <laughs> even when I did touch my face and the foundation came off, then you didn't end up just seeing, like, a streak of no foundation across my face. It just kind of gracefully faded away in that area. How's it going? Overall, foundation, it feels really pretty lightweight, minus once oils start to come through, but that is something, you know, you use a blotting sheet and that fixes that problem. I don't feel like there was any problems with where my glasses touch my cheeks. It hung in just as well there as it did on the rest of my face, and overall, I'm just curious, you know? Like I said, I don't think this is a perfect foundation by any means. If you have oily skin like me, I think this is probably gonna be more for like normal skinned people where you have combination skin, a little bit of oil, a little bit of dryness maybe, or just like neither of those and you just have like perfect lovely skin. That's who I'm thinking it's gonna be best for. I feel like if you have dry skin it might be a little too matte looking. I could be wrong, like I really, I don't have dry skin so I don't have experience with that, that's just my guess. But if you are a fellow really oily skinned person like me, you might want to try this. Like I'm, I'm not hating it. I'm curious to see about mixing this in with with a matte foundation. It just happens to be sitting right here, but my L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation, I'm curious to see how it mixes with that, and yeah, I'm just, I'm curious to play around with it. I don't completely hate it. So yeah, I think that's about it. I think and hope I covered everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and found it helpful. If you did, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it, and it would really help out my channel here, and if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!